Gurubhyo Namaha Harihi Om Namaste In today's video we shall be learning to chant the first shloka of the Uma Maheshwara Stotram First let us see it word by word Nama Shiva Bhyam Nava Yauvana Bhyam Paraspara Shlishta Vapur Dhara Bhyam Nagendra Kanya Vrishaketanabhyam Namo Nama Shankara Parvati Bhyam Come, let us chant it. Nama Shiva Bhyam Nava Yovana Bhyam Paraspara Sleshta Vapur Dhara Bhyam Nama Shiva Bhyam Nava Yovana Bhyam Paraspara Sleshta Vapur Dhara Bhyam Nagendra Kanya Vrishaketana Bhyam Namo Nama Shankara Parvati Bhyam Nagendra Kanya Vrishaketana Bhyam Namo Nama Shankara Parvati Bhyam Nama Shiva Bhyam Nava Yovana Bhyam Paraspara Sleshta Vapur Dhara Bhyam Nagendra Kanya Vrishaketana Bhyam Namo Nama Shankara Parvati Bhyam Now let us see the meaning of Shloka 1. Throughout this Stotram, we see an interesting word usage by the composer Sri Adi Shankaracharya, where he addresses both Lord Shiva and Goddess Parvati in the dual form. Here he begins by saying Namas Shiva Bhyam, which means prostrations to Lord Shiva and Goddess Parvati. Here the latter is referred to as Shiva or the feminine form of the word Shiva. The word Shiva itself means auspiciousness. The words in the shloka are adjectives to both Shiva and Shiva. Now we come to Navayavana Bhyam, which means the ones who are always in the spring of eternal youth. They enjoy eternal youth as they are the masters of time and they themselves are not subject to time. Then Paraspara Shlishta Vapur Dharabhyam They have taken over half of each other's bodies. We see the very beautiful image of Lord Shiva forming the right half and Goddess Parvati forming the left half of their combined form called Ardhanarishwara. Nagendra Kanya Vrishaketanabhyam Here this is a compound word where the first part refers to Goddess Parvati. The word Naga means mountain, Indra means chief of the mountains and Nagendra Kanya means the daughter of the chief of the mountains, namely Himavan's daughter Parvati. And then the second half of the compound word Vrishaketanaha refers to the one who has a flag with the Vrisha or Nandi on it. Nandi or the bull symbolizes dharma. The flag itself is a symbol of pride, honor and respect. Dharma itself is represented by Nandi on Shiva's flag. To know more about Nandi, his origins and story, do watch the upcoming special video coming up on Vidya Parampara. To the Divine Parrots, we offer our prostrations. Dhanivadaha.